Hi everybody, it's Meg from Books Off the Beaten Path. Just so you know, it's me. I'll pull those up there. How about going book shopping? You want to go book shopping at one of the best independent bookstores I know of? Let's go. We're going to meet Michelle. Okay, so here we are at Gardner's Books. I went backwards. Gardner's Used Books. It's an independent bookstore here in T-Town. And we are going to go in and see if we can get some credit. Okay, I'm standing here in Gardner's, and this is the Big Red Hulk by the front door. And I'm waiting on Michelle. She'll be coming in any minute. Um, try not to get any customers. This is where you trade. And you get store credit. And it's just massive. It's a huge, massive. Oh, here's the Green Hulk. We'll get the Green Hulk. Okay, hey everybody, it's Michelle. Michelle, say hi. Hi. So we're going to go through Gardner's and we're going to get some books. Hopefully we'll find some. So I'll let Michelle lead us off. Okay. Um, we just want to wander around a little bit first? Yeah, let's wander around. Okay, so this is pretty big. There's Han Solo. Okay, so oh, look at that. Very cool. We've got literature. Wait, let me get some literature. So you literally can get lost in here because they have so many. They have books on Tulsa. They have books on Oklahoma. Yep. Poetry, local authors. Let's see if we're in here. <laughs> do you see what's in here at all? Um, I do not. Sorry. Because Michelle and I wrote some stuff. Yeah. Okay, so we're not in here. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's good. So you go back this way and you're headed into this is mystery. Yeah. And shall we go down here and sure. see if we can find something? Are you looking for anything in particular? I always look for Reinhardt's. Oh, true. Q. Would be mystery. I think I've already passed it though. So yeah, this is W. So um, I think we have to go around. Go around this way. Mary Roberts Reinhardt. And there's definitely an adventure coming in here. It's hard to see it all in one day, you know? It is. It is hard to see it all in one day. Do you, are you in the R's yet? Yeah, there's some R's over here that you can look at. I'm trying to see if I see anything for you. But, uh, how do you spell her name? Is it R -E -I? R or I -E? R H I. And this yeah. is the whole aisle. Don't think I see any of hers right here. I mean, it's just a wonderful place. Yeah, it's a good place to come, especially if you know specifically what you're looking for, because it helps to have an author in mind. Yes. Which I. Do. Okay, we're gonna walk over to the staff picks. That's my Agatha Christie's. I think a lot of Agatha Christie's. My Sister the Serial Killer, that was supposed to be good. Hmm. We've got the complete Miss Marple here. That's kind of fun, isn't it? 8.45, you can't beat that. Murder in Cottonwood Springs. These are look, look these so look like some... Yeah. Hmm. And these are all dog and cat mysteries. Can you imagine having a whole section of just dog and cat mysteries? These things are pretty popular, aren't they? Have you read a whole bunch of any of like these kinds of things? Or I've read a few. I've read a few. I've read Susan Conte. Okay. Or Susan Con Conat Conat. Hmm. I've read Susan Conat. I've read. I haven't read any of them. I was just wondering, like, do you like them? This one. <laughs> <laughs> I've read that one. Are they kind of like um, cozy mysteries? Would you describe them? Oh yeah. Yeah. And then of course I read the cat who. Yeah. I read two or three of those. those. I've read two or three of those. Mm -hmm. All right, let's head back to. Okay, so now we're in the classic section. There's William Wordsworth. Get up a little closer so you can see some of the titles. Yeah. 
updates for him. Never heard of the K. Thomas Mann. Sometimes you can find stuff in here. That's an interesting copy of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Sometimes you can find stuff in here that you don't. The Unabridged Mark Twain, that's a big one. <laughs> that you're not necessarily one. looking for. Right. That they'll put it in classics, but it's not exactly a classic. I guess they define that as that that's oldish that people teach in high school or something like that. You think? I don't know. Do you teach? Do, do you, you teach? Well, I teach, but I'm teaching freshman composition, so it's all writing stuff. It's not okay. writing. So. so it has no bearing on this conversation. Not whatsoever. really, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sadly. Sadly. All right, but see, like, these are in the classics. And these are, like, the penny oh, yeah, some good, dreadfuls. Good, uh, good covers here. I like this one, you know. For some Jezebel. Look at that. The novel of a biblical queen. So I guess it really is, uh, yeah. Oh, I might have to check out the Lonely Steeple. Oh, well, that looks like one of yours, doesn't it? It does. Catcher in the Rye. Snap that right up. Not. <laughs> That's one of Rob's favorites. A oh, fan, no. That writer. Somerset Mom. I liked The Razor's Edge a lot. It's one of my all-time favorite books. A lot of yeah. D.H. Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Looks like everybody read Lady Chatterley. <laughs> yeah, no doubt, right? All right, we're gonna go into children's there in just a second. But we've got history over here. Yeah, President's wife. So there's Mary Todd Lincoln, Eleanor Roosevelt, Melania, no comment. <laughs> None taken. Okay, I wanted to show you this rack because this rack has all kinds of romance on it and some, sometimes you'll find an Emily Waring in here, a collectible. Um, so you have to sort of look through and I'm going to cut away here for a second so that I can look through and see if I can find an Emily Waring. Okay, we're going into romance. We're going down in. <laughs> Spin around to see Michelle. Poor Michelle is having to hold my books. Yeah, there's a haul here happening. There's a haul happening. So we're gonna go down into romance. I just want you to know my husband would be laughing and all the opportunities to make um, double entendres. <laughs> <laughs> he finds romances pretty funny, especially when they actually have sex scenes. Oh, yeah. Yes, how they phrase things. <laughs> okay, I have to take a video of true crime, which is, this is true crime. And the floor is spectacular. And there's crime scene tape. And there's crime scene tape. And we've got serial killers, true stories, the monster of Florence, which was amazing. Highly recommend. Which one? The monster of Florence. Yeah. Women who kill. All sorts of wonderful things. Tale of two murders. Hmm, let's see what these are. Oop, I figured out. Okay, we just made an amazing find. Show it. Found this and this. And these were two that Michelle and I both wrote for. Yeah. And there are names on it. M.A. Chipetta and Margaret Perdue. Yep, and your fingers over your name. Sorry. But, and your husband's on that one too, Robert Soul. Yes, Robert Soul. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And we're in the horror section. Which is where we should be. Okay, that's Michelle that checking out. Is so very clear. Okay. 
go through the book that she got. Show us the book you got. What's it called? Murder and Other Acts of Literature. Ooh. Okay, so we did it. We just got out of Gardner's and I'm going to head home and we're going to have a book haul. Does that sound good? I got some popcorn ready.